welcome and we find ourselves in the uh, Tesla Model 3 performance now if you watched the last video you will know that I chose the Porsche and not the Tesla and you might know that at the end of the video I told you that I would prefer the uh, Model 3 performance as my next practical car I will answer two important questions when you decide to buy your next car or your next electric car. The first question will be uh, how will you include your car in your lifestyle? And the second question will be do you want an electric car or do you want a brand that has an electric car in his lineup? If you find yourself in the category that I'm also in, you shouldn't look at the low range cars, let's say the Dacia or the Renault Zoe. You need to look at the higher end of the spectrum, let's say the Tesla Model 3, the Hyundai Ioniq 5. That will be the section that I will be discussing in this video because if you go straight up for the Model S or the Porsche Taycan, you will find that you wasted too much money to do your weekly commute. For the price of 60,000 euros, you get too much of the car. I drove it for the last 30 minutes and complimented by the past experiences. I want to uh, prove myself in this video that this Model 3 performance is the right car for me when I'm thinking about strictly practicality and not uh, necessarily uh, looks or high handling performance. I will say high because this car handles beautifully. It's, it's not your random Audi that has this loose steering feeling. This car is really the perfect balance between a normal ICE car, your normal Audi A4 and your high performance, let's say Porsche 718. That's the car I will compare it the low 718 and the high Audi A4. If you find yourself in the position that you go to, let's say, in the city 10 kilometers a day and you never go out, this car is way too expensive for you and way too much money to waste on a car that you don't really use it 100% of the time and 100% of its abilities. Now to answer the second question, do you want an electric car or do you want a brand that has an electric car in his uh, lineup? My answer would be that I want a brand that has an electric car because as you all know when you think of electric cars, your first thought will be Tesla. I took a look at the uh, this exact Model 3 performance which has a little over 75,000 kilometers and uh, this will be the perfect car for me to take, a, to take a look because I will, if I want to buy a second electric car, I will not buy it brand new, I will buy it second hand and the perfect amount of kilometers will be between 50 and 75,000 because I will also get to use it until 160, 170,000 kilometers and uh, I will benefit from the price decrease. Now when I stepped in this exact car with the black leather, I firstly looked at the uh, seats and I was amazed to see that the seat looks actually brand new, the, uh, especially the driver's seat. Of course the passenger seat will look better because it's less used, but the driver's seat is the one that gets the most use and this specific car has the little to nowhere. The second uh, point of interest will be the steering wheel and when I touched it, it felt somewhat grippy, I don't feel anything about that, but I don't really like the uh, feeling, I, I feel like this is either some kind of uh, cheap leather or uh, uh, some very soft plastic. 
me coming from a background of a car that is the Porsche Taycan, I felt this right away. But if you ask, let's say, every single Tesla owner, he will say you that doesn't really care about this. I just wanted to steer the wheel and not feel anything. And this is why the Tesla Model 3 is such a, a not a driver's focused car, but really a car that is meant to be used from point A to point B with no thinking of where should I park it or uh, take photos of it where you leave it because if you find it scratched all the world will be ended and of course some kind of acceleration is needed to really express the Model 3's performance the next point I will address is the big fuss around the uh, panel gaps that you find in every uh, Tesla on the road. And I will tell you from the experience of a workshop owner that this is no point of interest. This has nothing to do with the experience of driving the car. So for me, from a, a Porsche owner, I will tell you that this has nothing to do when you decide to buy this car. This car is not meant to be the perfect Rolls Royce or the perfect build quality of a premium car. Of course, this has many premium elements like the uh, central cluster wooden panel here, but this, this car is not about it. This car is just to trash it on your daily use and never care about it. Another reason for me to get the Model 3 performance is the repairability. Because uh, as you watched the last video, I told you that there wasn't a uh, Tesla workshop in Romania, but now it is. And if I want to repair something, I just simply sent it to the nearest and only Tesla repair shop in Bucharest. I get my car fixed. Of course, the demand there will be very high and the waiting time will be, I presume, a little bit more than in a, a Porsche dealership. But I now feel more comfortable of owning a car that has a workshop, a, a, an official workshop in the country that I'm living. Now I say that and of course from a workshop owner's point of view is very strange to say that I will send my car for repairs. Why don't I repair it myself? There are some points that a general workshop won't be able to address, like warranties and uh, strange problems. Let's say some sort of electrical issues or like the owner of the car told me that there were some electrical systems that failed and only a Tesla workshop would be able to repair that with no cost. The last point will be what would be my perfect spec. I see every Tesla with a white interior and a black, black exterior. One thing I hate about the uh, Model 3 and I will tell you right now is the blinkers. I think uh, what uh, engineers thought is that many BMW drivers will get into Teslas and they want to feel comfortable when they uh, activate the blinkers. Uh, you have to uh, uh, press it once or twice to get the blinker and press it again to deactivate it. And this is the stupidest thing that a blinker will be able to achieve. To end this video, what I learned after this experience. Tesla is really good at bringing the best out of your normal day, while Porsche makes a day out of your normal life. Don't understand that I got bored of my Taycan. This video is made for me to illustrate the first experience with a Tesla on the channel and to explain you how it will fit in my life if I would ever buy one. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!